existing. Thank you for the introduction. I'm Ayakasano from the University of Electrocommunications. Today, I'd like to talk about portable media imaging optical system on glossy surface. At the beginning, I will introduce our research easily. What proposed system can display the image on the glossy surface, such as glass table or marble floor? It is a promising optical it can easily installed by simply placing it on the glossy surface. These pictures shown were taken when we exhibited proposed system. As shown these, users can see and enjoy their image by the systems. This is the outline of our presentation. First, I will introduce the imaging system. Then, I will talk about our proposed system design. Third, I will talk about the evaluation. Lastly, I will talk about the contribution and limitation of the proposed system. Visual displays are some of the most important devices for virtual reality and augmented reality. Interaction with computer graphic characters in the virtual environment has become common with augmented reality games. Also, special augmented reality such as projection mapping has recently exploded in popularity. When systems that utilize it are installed in public spaces, spaces even people who happen to be in the area can interact with CD characters. In this research, we focus on the media imaging system, which displays CD images in 3D <coughs> space beyond the screens that users see without wearing any devices. Media image is a real image formed by the reflection and refraction of light source, and it is a promising way for glass-free mixed reality, because users do not need to wear any equipment to see CD displayed in the real world. There are several media imaging techniques, such as micro mirror array plate, area imaging by retro reflection, and roof mirror array. In this research, we use micro mirror array plates to form media image because it is easy to obtain and install. MMAPS consists of two, two layers of micro mirrors, which are orthogonal to each other. The incident light is reflected once in each layer of the MMAPS. The MMAPS can form a media image at the position that is plane symmetrical to the MMAPS. There are designs for media imaging interaction systems that use MMAPS, but they have limitations in terms of viewpoint position and installation space. Kim et al. proposed the Mario, an interactive system by which users can interact with media images by using a real object. Users can see media image by facing forward, but this way of viewing is difficult for users when they adjust their viewpoint position. That this problem was solved by ancient table, which forms an upright media image by using reflection of the reflective surface. The user looks at the media image by looking down, down at the table surface. Therefore, it is easy to adjust the viewpoint position, and it is enable to see media images without seeing the optical components. By displaying a media imaging using the reflective surface, it is possible to display a media image in harmony with the environment like these videos. These media images are displayed using the reflection of the table surface or water surface. However, it is difficult to display a standing media image on the floor surface with these systems. There are two reasons. First, the top edge of the light source of these systems must be lower than the table surface. 
Second, space is required behind the reflective surface to install this system. Moreover, there is one more limitation, that is the viewpoint position. I mentioned earlier that the limitation of viewpoint position has been resolved by the system. However, people whose eye height is lower than the reflective surface need to adjust the viewpoint position to see a media image. Therefore, we set three requirements for a proposed system. It is easy to install only by simply placing it on a reflective surface. It is easy to see for people without adjusting their viewpoint position. And it displays their image in harmony with the environment. <coughs> we designed proposed system by modifying the previous system. Left figure shows display subsystem. The subsystem consists of display, mirror, MMAPS, rubber film, and reflective material. Light from the display reflected by the mirror and forms the display plane, which is the light source of mid-air image. The reflected light goes through MMAPS, rubber film, and reflected by reflective material, and finally forms mid-air image on the surface. Rubber film seals the light that passes through without being reflecting by MMAPS. However, in this design, a virtual image is appears in the reflective material by the light from the display entering directly MMAPS. Comparing the reflections of a proposed system and real object, the reflection of a proposed system is brighter and clearer than the reflection of real object. When we saw the image, we decided to erase the reflection because it makes appearance bad. The previous researches didn't display the reflection of the image because another light source was required to display the reflection. On the other hand, it was, it was not reported that there was a sense of incongruity without reflection even if physically inaccurate. Therefore, it is considered that there is no problem even if the reflection is removed. <coughs> From now on, the light that causes the reflection will be regarded as undesired light. In this research, we erased the undesired light image by using the polarization state of the display. Because polarization state varies depending on the display type, we designed it for each type of the display. Therefore, many types of displays can be used as the light source. There are two main types of polarization characteristics for liquid crystal display. Polarized light in the oblique direction as shown on the left, and vertical or horizontal direction as shown on the right. In the case of using a oblique polarization display like TN mode, the polarization direction of the display prime is reversed in relation to the display. Therefore, installing the polarizing plate so that its transmission axis is orthogonal to the polarization direction of the display, the light from the display is absorbed and undesired light image is erased. On the other hand, in the case of using a display which is a vertical or horizontal polarization, like IPS or VA mode, the polarization direction of the display prime is the same as the display. In this state, the mid-air image is erased too. Therefore, we place a quarter wave plate on the mirror to reverse the polarization direction of the display prime. This move shows the phase shift. When the light from the display goes through wave plate, the linearly polarized light changes to circularly polarized light. When the light reflected by the mirror, the direction of rotation is reversed. When the light reflected by the mirror goes through wave plate again, the circularly polarized light changes to the linearly polarized light. The direction of polarization is orthogonal to the polarization direction of the display. It is possible to erase undesired light image. In the case of using a display without polarization, such as an organic ear display, the polarizing plate is placed on the display and MMAPS on the display side. 
The direction of the polarizing plate placed on the display is oblique. As a result, the polarization state of the display prime is reversed in relation to the display. After that, the design is the same as in the case of using an oblique polarization display. We confirmed that it is possible to erase undesired light image by calculation using determinant representing the polarization state. In the case of a weak polarized display on the left and vertical or horizontal polarized display on the right, on the right. The first row of the matrix shows the light intensity. In this calculation, the light intensity of light source is one, and we didn't consider about absorption. In both cases, when the light is directly incident on the polarizing plate, the light intensity is zero and when the light is incident on the polarizing plate after being reflected by mirror, the light intensity is 1. Therefore, we confirmed that undesired light is absorbed, and when the light forming nuclear image is transmitted. Figure shows the implemented proposal system. In this implementation, we use the display which is horizontal polarization and high brightness. We used a SCA 3D as a MMAPS. These optical elements were in a wooden box for easy installation and ambient light shielding. Overall size is 710 mm height, 780 mm wide, and 630 mm deep. To investigate whether the proposal system displays a media <laughs> image with higher luminance than an undesired light image, we evaluated the luminance of mid-air and undesired light images. We measured the luminance of both types of images formed with the systems assembled without the polarizing plate and the quarter wave plate, and with the polarizing plate and the quarter wave plate. We used an acrylic mirror as a reflective surface. The measurement range of latitude direction was 60, deg 60 degrees to 70 degrees in 5 degrees increments, and the longitude direction was 0 degrees to 25 degrees in 5 degrees increments. We measured the luminance of mid-air and undesired light images, which were white circles with a diameter of 4 cm. This figure shows the measurement results. The vertical axis shows the ratio of the mid-air luminance mid-air image luminance to the undesired light image luminance. The luminance of the undesired light image for operation without polarization was almost the same as that of the mid-air image for operation without polarization. And the luminance of the mid-air image for operation with polarization was much higher than the undesired light image for operation with polarization. Thus, by implementing operation with polarization, it was possible to for form a mid-air image whose luminance was higher than that of an undesired light images. Therefore, the proposal system is considered to be able to erase undesired light images. These figures show the results of luminance measurement. Left figure shows the measurement result of operation without polarization, and right figure shows the result of operation with polarization. As shown this, by implementing erasing subsystem, it can be seen that the mid-air image is brighter than undesired light image in all states. These figures show mid-air image displayed by proposal system. The image on the left was formed by operation without polarization, and that on the right was formed by operation with polarization. Since we do not see the undesired light image formed by operation with polarization with even with the naked eye, the proposed system is considered to be able to erase the images. We will discuss the advantage of proposed system. The contribution of the system is that it features a practical optical design that can be easily installed. By using reflection of surfaces such as marble and glass, displaying applied mid-air images on the surface is possible. Mid-air image can be displayed next to the real object because it does not have frame and screen. In case of a proposed system, 
an upright nuclear image can be displayed on the surface. Therefore, we believe that effective use of proposed system is to display CD characters and enjoy being in the same space, but to display explanatory text directly next to exhibits such as museums. On the other hand, proposed system has three limitations. First, the luminance of a media image is low. Luminance is decreased when the light passes through optical elements. Using a high luminance display as a light source, it is possible to display high luminance media image. Also, it may be considered designing an ambient light display. There is a research to use the sun as a light source backlight. Second, proposed system can be can display media image only on reflective materials because proposed system uses the reflection to display media image. Therefore, the mid-air image cannot be formed on the material that does not reflect like a carpet. The solution is to place a reflective material such as tablet on the surface. Third, the visible range is narrow. The visible range of mid-air image displayed by proposed system is limited. When the user's viewpoint position is out of the range of MMAPS, the user cannot see mid-air image. There is a research which expands the visible range by putting two mirrors on the side of MMAPS. The same method can be used to expand the visibility of the proposed system. Our future work is measurement luminance of mid-air images reflected by low reflective surfaces such as marble or waxed floor. This picture is a mid-air image formed by waxed floor and shows a mid-air image and diffuse light on the surface. If we measure luminance of a mid-air image in, the, in this state, the measurement value is considered to be total of mid-air image luminance and diffuse light luminance, because mid-air image and diffuse light are on the same straight line. Moreover, the measurement luminance value may be affected by the color of a reflective surface, because the luminance of mid-air images which is reflected by low reflective, low reflective material is low. Therefore, measurement only media image luminance is very difficult. If you have some ideas, please tell us. For the same reasons, it is difficult to measure resolution of a media image. We plan to evaluate the resolution by measuring modulation transfer function. However, as shown in this picture, the media image is overlapped the diffused light. Moreover, the patterns of reflective surfaces is also overlapped the material image. Thus, it is difficult to measure resolution of material image. Please let me know if you have any ideas on measuring resolution too. We propose the portable material imaging optical system which can form an upright material image on the glossy surface. We designed the subsystems that display mid-air image and erases undesired light for each of multiple types of light source. We evaluated whether the undesired light image could be erased, and we confirmed that the proposed system is considered to be able to erase that image. Today, we have a small version of a proposed system. Also, we will exhibit, uh, exhibit it at the Graph Asia Emerging Technologies. Please come and see if you are interested. That's all for my presentation. Thank you. Questions? Here is a very small system. Can you make it easily out without the restrictions? Yes, it is possible. Um, yes. We, we make four types, four sizes. And this is the most smallest midway proposal system. And we make about 50 centimeter size proposal systems. So it, it can possible to form the image about 30 centimeters. 
further questions? Yeah. yeah. I was curious about one thing, the, 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 the reflection. You would only see it if you are sort of standing where the reflection goes, right? Uh, so if you consider adding eye tracking to the eye tracking to the system. We didn't know. We haven't suggesting. We didn't such systems. But uh, so now, now we have to go that position to see the doing it. When you were asking about measuring resolution, were you thinking of scale or trying to find some type of way to find a similar pixel density? Or how are you defining what it is you're looking to measure? What? Mm. Small this we want to know about like like and black and white pattern spray with the image. <coughs> Okay, so just similar to how a monitor resolution. Thank you both of our speakers.